so now we will see if a number is an armstrong number in javascript so guys let us move to vs code over here and simply inside the programs folder we are going to create a new file so this is the armstrong number.js file that we have created now guys what is the meaning of armstrong number so basically any number is the armstrong number when we separate all the digits inside the number and then we find the sum of the powers of all those numbers raised to the number of digits inside that particular number so guys to understand it more clearly let us check the example so over here an armstrong number it is equal to 153 so let us say we have this 153 as the example over here what we need to find is basically the number of digits in this particular number is 3 over here so we have to find the sum of all these numbers that is 153 raised to the length of this number that is 3 over here so it will be 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 or simply it will be 1 raised to 3 plus 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 or simply it will be 5 raised to 3 in this case plus 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 over here so guys basically if you see the multiplication is 3 times because the length of the number over here is 3 digits in this case and that is why 1 is multiplied by this number itself 3 times and then 5 is also multiplied by itself 3 times over here and similarly we have to multiply the 3 number by itself 3 times in this case. So basically if this particular sum of all these numbers is equal to 153 then it is an Armstrong number and if it is not equal to 153 then it is not an Armstrong number. So guys this can also be written as 1 raised to 3 over here so simply we provide 1 raised to 3 in this case and then over here we have 5 raised to 3 so we have 5 raised to 3 and then we also have 3 raised to 3 over here so guys this raised to the power of number is 3 because the length of this number is 3 in this case if the length of the number is 4 then we can provide 1 raised to 4 then 5 raised to 4 and so on whatever digits are present inside the number so guys let us write the function in order to check whether the number is the armstrong number so over here we will write the function that is is armstrong it is equal to and then we will write the arrow function in this case which is going to take one parameter that is number over here followed by equal to and the greater than symbol as the combination of special characters and then we have the function body over here now guys what we have to do is we need to find the number of digits inside the number so we have number of digits over here so basically we need to find the number of digits inside the number because that particular number of digits will be used while we are calculating the power of a specific digit over here so it is equal to what we will do is first of all we will convert this number into a string and then simply we can use the length property of the string in order to get the number of digits so guys over here we provide a number followed by dot and then simply in order to convert the integer to the string we can use the two string method over here followed by open and close parenthesis and then followed by dot and then we have something called as length over here so guys basically this length property is used in order to get the length of the string since the integer is converted to the string over here now guys what we will do is let us confirm whether we are getting the correct length or not so basically we will provide a number of digits as the console.log statement and then simply we are going to call this function that is is armstrong and the number is 150 3 over here let me just save this file now and try running this code on the terminal by using the node command followed by the name of the javascript file so as you can see we are getting the output as 3 over here because there are 3 digits inside this number what if we provide 1 5 3 4 which means there are 4 digits so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so we are getting 4 as the output so guys we are correctly getting the number of digits over here inside this armstrong function over here now guys what we have to do is we need to find the one digit at a time from all these numbers and then we need to use the power function inside the math library in order to carry out the sum of all these numbers so guys simply we will provide another variable that is temp in this case it is equal to number over here and then what we will do is simply we will use the while loop and then we are going to check for the condition whether temp is greater than zero because after every iteration we are going to decrease this number after dividing this number by 10 over here so guys that is the reason we have made a copy of this number inside the temp variable so now what we have to do is first of all we need to 
find the last digit by using the modulus operator so guys over here we will provide the remainder variable it is equal to and we will use the temp variable this time followed by the modulus operator that is percent 10 in this case so guys basically what this expression will do is it will take temp number that is 153 right now which is copied from this particular number variable 153 divided by 10 and the remainder will be stored inside this remainder variable over here and that is the functionality of this modulus that is percent operator so first of all we will get this digit that is 3 over here inside the remainder variable and then guys what we have to do is simply we will reduce the temp variable it is equal to temp divided by 10 over here now guys by default when we divide any number by 10 in javascript we are going to get the floating number so in this case what will happen is 153 divided by 10 will give us 15.3 over here but this three digit is already stored inside the remainder and we don't want this decimal point and the number after the decimal point so we exactly want 15 over here when we carry out 153 divided by 10 expression so guys what we have to do is simply we can use the math.floor function in order to remove this 0.3 from this particular 15.3 number so guys over here we provide math followed by dot and then we have the floor method so as you can see it returns the greatest integer less than or equal to its numeric argument so we will use this method and enclose this expression that is temp divided by 10 within this particular method so guys now we will only get 15 as the number because that is the actual quotient that we are looking for and basically the remainder that is 3 is already stored inside the remainder so guys we have stored the temp value as 15 right now and the remainder is already 3 over here now guys after this what we have to do is we have to make use of this remainder that is 3 and then we need to make use of the power function in order to find the 3 raised to 3 result over here so guys simply we will use another variable that is sum in this case so let us initialize the variable that is sum it is equal to 0 right now and what we will do is sum it is equal to sum plus and then we will use the power function from the math library so over here we provide math followed by dot and then we have something called as pow it returns the value of the base expression taken to a specified power so guys basically the first number will be the remainder that is 3 over here and the second number in this case that is the parameter it will be the specified power which is the number of digits this time so guys basically we will provide the remainder as the first argument and the next argument will be number of digits so guys what this will do is in the first case the remainder is 3 and then raise to the power that is number of digits this time which is equal to 3 for this particular number that is 153 over here so guys basically we are going to get 3 raised to 3 in the first iteration of the while loop and then guys next time when the control flow goes back over here temp will be again greater than 0 because currently temp is 15 right now and once again we will get the remainder from this number that is 15 we will get the number as 5 and then we will get 5 raised to 5 and then it will be added to the sum variable which is going to store the sum of all the numbers that we are finding out and then in the end the temp value will be 1 over here after dividing 15 by 10 and the temp value will be greater than 0 once again so the remainder will be 1 in the last iteration that is the first digit after which the temp value will become 0 because 1 divided by 10 will give us the 0 as the quotient and then guys once again we will get 1 raised to the 1 result in this case which will be added to the sum variable and in this way we will get the sum of all these numbers so we can verify what the value of sum is after this while loop so basically we will provide console.log statement over here and then we will say value of sum is followed by dollar symbol and then we have the sum variable over here now guys we need to return true or false basically based on this particular value of the sum if the sum value is equal to the number that was passed then it is the armstrong number else it is not the armstrong number so simply we are going to check whether this number that was passed to the parameter to the is armstrong function is it equal to sum value that we have found over here 
and if it is equal to sum then we are going to say return true this time or else in the end if it is not equal to sum then it will return false over here so guys basically this is the function that can help us in order to check whether the number is the armstrong number or not so basically over here what we will do is simply we will provide the console.log statement this time and then we will provide is armstrong and then followed by the number that is 153 over here so guys let us see whether this is the armstrong number or not before running the code let us provide the statement that is is armstrong and then followed by hyphen and then we have the dollar symbol followed by the open and close curly braces over here and then the end of the string literal in this case so guys basically this is a statement that we are providing over here so that we can either get true or false as the output when we are calling this function so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code on the terminal so as you can see value of sum is 153 so the 153 number that we had passed over here to this function it has found out that the sum of all these numbers based on the armstrong number logic it is equal to this particular number that is 153 over here and that is what is getting printed and then after that we have is armstrong it is equal to true this time now guys what if the number is different so let's say instead of 153 we provide 154 over here so instead of 3 raised to 3 4 raised to 3 will be calculated so let us check that as well what will be the sum when we provide 154 when we save this file now and try running this code on the terminal so as you can see value of sum is 190 so instead of 154 we are getting 190 over here and since both these numbers are different this number is not an armstrong number and that is why we are getting false over here what about 1634 it is the four digit number over here let us see what will be the output when we save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see the value of sum is 1634 which is equal to this particular number that we had passed over here as the parameter to the armstrong number and since both the numbers are same we are getting true value as the return value now guys what will be the output when we provide the number that is 73 over here whether this is an armstrong number or not comment in the comment section below let us see whether your answer is correct or not so please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video till then stay tuned